now i am going to tell you about the next indicator of bad design and this indicator is lossy decomposition okay this is n y lossy decomposition or the problem of spurious trub spurious tuples okay spurious spurious means not original okay not original or contaminated or invalid okay so what we are going to see is how do we have this problem in a relational schema let's suppose i have a table in which i have my name employee id project name and a project location so this table is storing information about the person in which project he is working on and that project is located where okay now suppose i decompose this table just like we had decomposed the above relation which was where was it which was this relation into these two relations right here to make it better let's suppose i decompose my this relation into two relations which are like this i store a name and project location in one and i store employee id project name and project location in another okay let's see what happens if i do that okay first what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this thing okay i have this table right now with me let's fill it up with some values okay let's suppose i have a jimmy his employee id is 23 let's suppose he is working on a project named discovery and where is he working he is working in houston okay since the project is located at houston then i have a lady called kim whose employee id is 14 and she is working on a project named placebo and she is also working in houston because the placebo project is being located at houston then i have my guy roy his employee id is 56 he is working on a project named candid and he is working at paris because candid is at paris so now i complete my table like this okay so i have this original table and since i have decomposed it into two tables so now let's do the decomposition so let's suppose i have this table right here and i have this table right here okay or rather let's let's take this a bit up okay so it would look nicer um, would be able to explain you better if this entire thing comes in a single page okay so i have the original table and i have my new tables which are these so i have decomposed it right 
so what would be the values in my table i would have a jimmy here and his project location which is houston then i would have kim and her project location which is also houston and i would have roy and his project location which is paris and here i'm storing employee id so i would have 23 i would have discovery i would have houston next i would have a 14 i would have a placebo and houston and i have 56 a kandit and a paris okay i just make my table complete this is good so far so good right no problem until here now let's suppose i take a join between these two tables okay if i have to find out what is the project name of jimmy i need to take a join with this table right i would have to take a join and i can take a join because project location is a foreign key over here right i can take a join over here so let's take a join now so i will take a join let's call this as a temporary table as join table okay so what do we have here let's understand this is very important okay this lossy decomposition or the generation of spurious tables is a very important concept in normalization so i am going to have attributes in this table as i'm going to have a name i'm going to have an employee id i'm going to have a project name and i'm going to have a project location okay so i would take a join with this these two so first let's suppose i am looking at jimmy's tuple so i'm going to start writing values as jimmy project name is houston okay i would take a join now with this table so houston matches so i would write project name as discovery and employee id is 23 now houston matches with this tuple also so i would write jimmy employee id 14 project location is houston and my project name is placebo next what would come we would have kim even kim is in houston okay so we would have again these two values over here kim 14 placebo houston and finally i have roy now look at there is only one paris each you know in these tables okay so we would have just one tuple over here we have roy paris kandit and what was the id the id was 56 so now i am able to complete my join table I've done something like this. Okay, so far so good, but just understand what has happened. Something really bad has happened. Initially, I had only three tuples in my original table, which was not decomposed. But after decomposition and taking a join, I have five tables. Okay. So I have generated some spurious. tuples in the joined table and what is the problem over here the problem is this tuple and it is this tuple 
because Jimmy is not working on placebo. In my original table, I have clearly mentioned that Jimmy is working in discovery and Kim is not working on discovery. Rather, Kim is working in placebo. But since I have taken a join and my decomposed schema was not perfect, my join has re resulted in spurious tuples. This is something that I do not want. Okay. Now, why do I call this a lossy decomposition? This is a lossy decomposition. I say this as lossy decomposition. Because I have lost some information. So, lossy decomposition basically Despite the fact that I have gained some new tuples, I say that I have lost information. So, lossy decomposition could be indicating two things. It could be either you are losing some tuples or you are gaining some spurious tuples. In both the cases, I say that my decomposition is lossy. It only says my information is lossy, right? The decomposition is lossy means information is lossy. Like the information has changed or has modified in the process of taking the decomposition. So this was about the lossy decomposition or spurious tuple factors. So we have covered what was the reason for normalization or what were the indicators of a bad design. Those were update anomalies, having null values, having redundant data and having spurious tuples or lossy decomposition.